Good morning, guys. Good morning. And I am so glad that you are here with me on today. Well, listen, I just wanted to reach out just real quick to talk to you today. Oh, and if you are new, just really fast, I want you to like this video, subscribe and click the bell so that we can stay connected. But most importantly, there are other chosen ones that need to find their soul family, their soul tribe, and I need your help to make sure that we reach them, okay? Because they, in a lot, of case, a lot of times, they're hurting and they may be feeling like the odd one out and we don't want them to feel that way. But I just wanted to uh, reach out today to say this just really quickly on this day. You know, I was studying um, the scripture about the prodigal son, Luke 15, 11 through 32. If you get an opportunity to, to read it, it's a great, a great story. And I want you to understand that in your life, sometimes you make mistakes you make mistakes and people are good at reminding you about your mistakes that you've made. You have taken time out to learn your lesson and really evolve into a better person. And because now you're being blessed the enemy will get inside somebody that's real, real close to you to remind you of what you did before. And I just wanted to reach out today to let you know that God is saying, go ahead and put the coat back on. I want to repeat it one more time. I just want to reach out today to let you know, no matter what you did, that God is saying, go ahead and put the coat back on. See, I know that it's people probably in your immediate family that you have possibly wronged, or maybe you did something like the prodigal son did. Maybe you took something and you just blew it. Maybe you made a big mistake that you just constantly made over and over and over again, and you finally got to a point that you were at the end of yourself. Maybe you you spiritually experienced a famine in your life, or maybe it was just a physical famine in, in the various capacities of which a famine can, can manifest in your life. Maybe you got to a breaking point. Maybe, just maybe, you got into a bad situation where you saw yourself feeding pigs, eating and slop. Maybe you got into a situation that was so bad that you didn't even feel worthy enough to raise your head. And I just hear the Lord saying that he see you coming from a long way off. He's already told every angel in heaven to go ahead and start playing the music, to go ahead and start celebrating you because you realize that you are welcome back into the arms of God. You realize that you may have made a mistake and now you have more dimension to your character. But it's people around you that want to remind you of the mistakes that you made. It's people around you that want to remind you about what you did. There are people around you that from day one have done nothing but speak negative and nasty and vile things over your life. And when those things manifested in your life, then they're talking more about that in your life. I'm here to let you know that the Lord is saying today, Baby, go ahead on and put the coat back on. The Lord is saying today that it's no low that you can go that I can't bring you back up higher than you were before you were at your best place in life. The Lord is saying, I'm standing right here, baby, with the robe of righteousness. Go ahead on and put your coat on. I know that they're going to be mad because I forgave you and I'm standing here giving you your coat back. I know they're mad because you fe they felt like you may have ruined their life or they feel like that you're the odd one out. They ain't ever liked you. Maybe you're the black sheep of the family, but the Lord is saying, go ahead on and put the coat back on. I don't care what they're saying about you or how... Uh, worthless they say that you are but the lord is saying to you today baby go ahead on and put the coat on i know that it was hard out there without being in my will but go ahead on and put the coat on i know that you feel guilty because of what you did but the lord is saying go ahead on and put the coat on i know that they want to remind you satan and his minions and all their opinions that he has camouflaged in the people that you know to make you feel that you're not worthy of my best but the lord is saying go ahead on and put the coat back on 
that it's nothing too hard for God. It's nothing that you have did that's so bad that God cannot heal your heart. Chosen one. I want you to know that the Lord loves you more than anything. I want you to also know that your presence is necessary in this environment. I want you to know that there is a spiritual war going on, that you have a weapon that nobody else has and no weapon that the enemy forms against you will prosper. I want you to know that you are like a Navy seal of a spiritual army, army that is just in the blood of Jesus Christ. I want you to know that the enemy did all that stuff to you to try to lie to you and convince you of what you wasn't because he know what you are. I want you to know that you need to go ahead on and put your coat back on i want you to know that it's a, a a demon for you to slay baby that can't nobody do it and that bloodline but you i want you to know that there's generations coming behind you that need you to go ahead on and put that coat on because other people in your bloodline hadn't been able to slay this dragon but god has given you the power the dominion and the authority to to go ahead and do it go ahead on and put the coat on walk in your season of glory celebrate what you have learned elevate your consciousness expand your mind get some more depth to your spirit because there is something for you to do that can't nobody do but you but god is saying but i need for you to forgive yourself because i already knew that you were gonna do that because it took that for you to see what i see and baby Put your coat back on. I love you. Mwah. Peace. Bye now.